What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're having a look at some Pirate Rumble action with the brand newly released Sugofest exclusive Roranora Zoro and this character looks pretty awesome. I am hoping that we're able to perform some really cool stuff today. Zoro is focusing on the slasher class which I don't think is a surprise to anybody but the thing is is we just recently re just recently had Kdad right and Kdad was also focused on slashers so they're releasing a lot of legends at once. I mean they did that for Cerebral as well with Hina and then Corazon and Law and you know just a bunch of Cerebral stuff like uh, Film Red Shanks and then Film Red Uta. So many legends for one class straight away and I feel like they're kind of doing the same thing here. We had Kdad and then obviously we've got um, this guy coming up as well. But let's actually break down what he does and determine if he's going to be good or not in Rumble. So his Rumble ability will give slashes, speed and attack level 5. And then every time that Zoro takes damage up to four times, he gives himself a further level one attack and then level one crit increase. The crit increase doesn't matter that much. I think it would have been cool if he gave himself level one attack and then maybe potentially let increase the CT of your slashes by one. I think something like that, or even just himself by one. I think that would have been absolutely wicked. But he does have a rumble special that is a 28 CT, which for a slasher team is actually pretty good. Targets enemies in a large horizontal range for 2.3 times damage, and then targets a single enemy for 1.5 times attack through defense. So the way that slashers are kind of working in, in the fact that they can have so much attack power is really going to make that attack through defense be pretty critical. Uh, another thing as well is with Roger and Newgate on the team as well, they also provide damage through defense to two targets. And typically, when Roger and Newgate launch their special, they're going to be killing two characters. So we might have a really cool situation here where we can have three hits that go through defense, hopefully knocking out three enemies. That is what we're aiming to do here. We also have Odin to give additional CT, and Odin just does so much damage. And then we have Cracker and Kizaru for CT increases, as well as the fact that Kizaru can launch super quickly to further increase our attack stat, meaning that the damage through defense does even more damage. It's going to be very important. So with all that being said, not really too much else to say other than the fact that we're running a lot of Legends, not a lot of Rumble Rare Recruits because we just don't have the space for it, but I am uh, very excited to jump into the content today and hopefully we get some cool matches with the Slasher team. It's been a while since we showcased the Slasher team here on the channel, at least in normal Rumble that is, so I'm hoping that we get some good stuff going on today. Alright, let's actually see how we go up against this team here, which is a really defensive int team. And, you know, typically slashers don't have a good time against this because uh, they don't have a lot of hard-hitting units. But the fact that we have Zora and Wipe and Roger that can do damage through defense, a lot of the time we can ignore it. And the fact that we just have so much attack power is probably going to be really big for us. So despite their massive defenses, I think that even just characters that don't do damage through defense are going to hit pretty hard. And... The only real issue that I see here is probably going to be Gecko Moria because of the halving of stats and depending who he targets for that can really put us in a bad spot. Unfortunately, Zora just missed the special activation there. We don't really have to worry too much from the damage, but Zora did receive a little bit of a buff there, which is good. Odin unfortunately missed. Roger and Newgate, if we could knock out Moria, that would be fantastic. We got rid of Perona, which actually gets it rid of around some of the heal, which is kind of nice. And that was really good damage from the Cracker. And now Kizaru is going to launch, hopefully knocking out that Otama, which does provide a lot of healing for them. Unfortunately, just missed out, so Otama will heal them back. And actually, we have Zora coming in. Zora, I think, might miss, but let's see how many he's going to hit. Okay, got rid of White Beard at least, which is good. Oh, I forgot about Odin. Oh my god. Odin just coming through and just saying, no, not today, Josephine, you ain't getting your heals back. And that was a pretty comfortable victory against a really bulky int team, because the thing about that is there wasn't really anything that was threatening us with damage. I guess if they were able to inject Yamato on the team, that would definitely be an issue for us, I think. But depending on who our targets hit, probably wouldn't have been a big issue. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and challenge a Psy team. Uh, Yamato, Odin, Kuzan, Rebecca, Toy Soldier. Uh, yeah, obviously all really annoying, annoying characters to deal with, uh, at least on a defensive aspect. Rebecca, Toy Soldier obviously can be a little bit annoying because when they do launch, they do lower slasher characters' defenses by a pretty large margin. So even though we don't even have any bulk, the fact that we'll get negative defense means that even just normal attacks from the opposing side are going to do a 
lot of damage. So we have to get really lucky in terms of how our specials launch here. We got to really hope that Roger and Newgate are able to knock out like Odin and Yamato. Those are the two ones I'm most afraid of. The fact that the, the enemies are being kind of spread out is really going to hurt our slasher squad in the way that we like to do things. Roger and Newgate, who are you targeting? It got rid of Kuzan and Rebecca, which I don't think that was the best choice, but deaths are good either way. Yamato, oh, hopefully she doesn't launch. I think she's going to miss just. Okay, she just missed. That's really good for us. Okay, groggy monsters. Go rid of that. Oh my god. Cracker just missed out on launching the special too. Here is the Zoro. Unfortunately, didn't target Yamato or Odin. Uh, and I think their Odin's about to launch. Yeah, that's really bad for us. Who does it target? Okay, that's actually kind of nice because it lets our Odin go now. At least I would like my Odin to go. Oh my god, please, Odin, stay up. Okay, Odin's up, and they're all in a line. This is perfect. Come on. Okay, okay. It got rid of Yamato, so Yamato didn't launch, but now we got Gaban. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect for us. Man, this is super risky running a team with zero defense. Oh my god. Come on, can we please just get the victory? Okay, come on, one left. Roger Newgate, there it is. That's a victory. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We got a little bit lucky in terms of who we were able to target with some of our specials, but that's the name of the game. Pirate Rumble is literally the RNG game mode, so the fact that we are able to pull out a victory against a pretty formidable side team, I mean, Bon Clay probably not the more optimal choice, but we still got the victory, so we'll gladly take that. Let's see how we go about taking on a Dex team. Uh, typically, Dex teams, you, you don't really want to challenge them with a Slasher team, but I'm really hoping that our damage through defense, you know, obviously Roger Whitebin and Zoro, I really hope that that's enough to carry, but it, it's going to be very uh, dependent on the performance of the opposing team because we really need the opponent's team to stay in a horizontal line for both Odin and Zora to apply sufficient damage, which I guess is kind of a downside to using both Zora and Odin on the same team, because if the enemy, you know, spreads out in the way that they currently are, that is not good for Zora. They need to stay in that line. So if we can push them back, which it looks like we may have just done, Odin's going to come in with some huge damage. Really, really nice. And Roger Whitebeard, at least getting one knockout. Zor, uh, Luffy, sorry, and the opposing team is going to keep one of them up. Moria is going to stay up. Cavendish is knocked out. Probably would have preferred it to be the opposite way around, but it is what it is. Here's Zor. Horizontal damage. Damage through defense. Knocking out Cat Viper, which is one of their heavy damage dealers. Cracker is going to take a lot of damage here from the Dogstorm, though. And we have our own Cracker and also Kizaru to come in for some additional damage here. And because the knockout from Luffy already has res someone, that's really good. We don't have to worry about reviving no more. Cracker getting a couple knockouts too is always good, uh, but now we have Luffy and Moria both with their specials, and also Sober Mask too, so we're going to be... Oh, we got rid of Luffy though! That is massive, dude. That's a lot of damage coming in from Moria. Sober Mask is going to launch too. It will only launch once. It does get a couple knockouts, but now they have no specials, and we have our lore ready to go, so that's going to be great. That actually might just straight up win here. Oh, almost. Okay. But we're going to secure another victory, which is fantastic. You absolutely love to see it. What I will say is that Roger Newgate is just goaded. <laughs> that character is way too good in Rumble when you use him correctly. But it does definitely feel like Zora is lacking a bit of damage. Uh, you know, the horizontal damage is fine. The damage through defense is obviously really nice to see. But it definitely feels like um, he needed a little bit higher numbers, a little bit higher multipliers in his special to make it a little bit more worth it, at least in my opinion, at least from what I've seen at the moment. Uh, but the rest of the slashes are obviously helping out a, a, pretty, a pretty good margin so far. All the slashes working really well together. And I just felt like taking on one more team. Let's try and take on another Psy team, but this is like essentially a Psy free spirit team. And you've got like the five legends on the front line. You got Roger, you got Law. Law specifically is interesting because that is going to debuff the CT of Cracker on our side of the field. Um, luckily, the rest of our crew are not driven or powerhouse, which is kind of nice. Um, still, Odin and Yamato are going to be threats. Even Luffy and the Straw Hats, they can do some pretty good damage. And they also have the opportunity to action bind some of your characters. So, of course, our specials are going to go first, but they do have Wano Law, which is going to increase their CT, so that does kind of hurt. At least here we have Kizaru giving us some additional offensive buffs. It looks like Zor is... Oh, he missed his special again, dude! That is so unlucky! And Odin... Oh, look, that's really unlucky. They're all in a really, really wonky, uh, wonky fashion right now. 
and uh, Straw Hats are going to go. Hopefully, the Roger Newgate stays up. No action bind, please. It does hit Kizara, which is kind of bad for us. Okay, come on, please, please, please. Oh, okay. Go to Yamato at least. And then Zora is coming up now, so hopefully we get a little bit lucky here. Okay, go rid of the Straw Hats. Once again, Odin is still alive. Who's he going to hit? Okay, this is still a bit scary though. Kizara is out, which is good. Crack is going to come in for some damage. Really good stuff. Really, really good. I think we're going to pull out a victory once again. Looking pretty good. And Zor is going to get the kill. Awesome. So it did knock out the side team once again. That is really good to see. Of course, it is really dependent on who you're able to target with some of your specials. But if you do target the right character, it's just a straight up victory. But there's definitely opportunities for this team to die very quickly due to the lack of defense. I know some people would probably say, you know, they're going to have Doflamingo on the team to add a little bit of bulk. But in my honest opinion, I think that it's probably better to go ultra offense rather than adding a very small amount of defense that it may or may not even matter. I think it's probably better to go more onto the offensive side to ensure that your specials are launching before the opposing side. I think that's probably a little bit more important, but it is up to you at the end of the day. So with all of that being said, that is going to wrap it up for me and just giving final thoughts on this character in Rumble. I think that he actually works reasonably well and if you don't have some of those other key slashes, then yes, he's definitely going to be a good option, but I don't think his damage, it really gives him an option to be used in more optimal slasher teams. The damage that he does provide does lack a little bit. The fact that his damage is only horizontal and then only targets one character for damage through defense definitely hurts him. I think that it would have been better if he did just a large, kind of like similar to Final Tap Kid, where the fact the character did a large range damage through defense and even do something similar but with a lower multiplier and due to slashes having so many types of ways to increase their attack i think a special like that probably would have been more useful but at, on the same token is that it probably would have been way too broken if this character literally had like a final tap kid special in rumble but i think overall he's really really fun to use and uh, i'm definitely looking forward to potentially using him in grand party whenever that comes up so we'll have to wait and see how that kind of progresses we'll talk more about grand party whenever the second season comes out that's going to wrap it up for me though thank you so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video